First off, little circuit here, three exercises. They don't have to be the actual exercises that I'll be performing in my chest workout. It's just a simple circuit that enables me to warm up the chest muscles through a range of different angles and movements. So incline dumbbell presses, flat bench dumbbell flies, and then a cross bench uh, dumbbell pullover. Three great movements to open out my chest, extend through, and to stretch it. A few stretches after each circuit, so two circuits in total. Uh, listen, the weight really isn't an issue here. Maybe 50, 60% of the weight I'm normally lifting. I'm really not aiming to get a pump in my chest, I'm just aiming to go through a range of motion. So now we can start the first major work set on uh, incline bench press. And I'll say with this, my focus is primarily on the upper portion of my chest. So you're gonna see a lot of exercises focusing on this region as opposed to your typical standard bench press and dumbbell flies. Incline presses, my first exercise. Listen, the reason I start with this and not your typical flat bench press is I'm not trying to get my chest bigger, I'm not trying to get stronger. My workouts now are all about symmetry and balance and proportion. So for me, my chest, I need a little bit more um, balance up top. So whilst I'm fresh after my warm up, I wanna build up to the maximum amount of weight that I can manage on an incline because that's where much more of the, uh, the upper clavicular pectoral, this region of the chest as opposed to the more mid bulkier part, tends to get worked. It gets a lot more stress placed on it. So a couple of tips here. Uh, progressively building up the weights. You see me work across uh, four sets with that last set being a drop set. And really what I'm doing here is like uh, getting into a car and building up to top speed. I wanna go through all the gears just like I'm going through a decent amount of weight, good increments so that I can really warm up and engage the chest rather than just putting a lot of weight on and trying to bench out the maximum. So no real rep range, some were 10, 12, others came as low as eight, but as long as I reach my target, which is practically failure, I haven't got a, my training partner here, so I have to be careful, but I'm reaching up to my, my maximum threshold with the most weight I can lift, it's about seven or eight reps, then I'm taking about half that weight off, widening my grip, getting a nice sort of wide incline press. And you'll see I'm pretty much pulsing just on the upper clavicular area, which is working here. So a lot of focus on my upper chest. I'm gonna move on, continue with some presses. We'll find a machine press. Then I can start to work in more with the flies, dumbbells, and cables. Second 
exercise, machine press. The reason I like the machine press after the free weights is because free weights, especially that barbell uh, bench press, use a lot more muscle involvement activation to actively press that bar and control it back down. So even though I'm doing the same type of basic press, by using machine, it fixes me in that uh, very set range of motion. Therefore, I can put a lot of that uh, tension firmly on the muscle without trying to, to balance or stabilize it. So, uh, free weights, barbells, dumbbells, machines, cables, even body weight, I try and mix it all into my, my chest workout and every other muscle group, just so that I'm always stressing the body from different angles, using different techniques. Uh, speaking of techniques, a drop set I involved into this one, similar to on the, the first exercise. So within each exercise, certainly early on in the workout, I want to build up to the maximum weight I can lift for no less than uh, six or seven reps. Once I hit that point, I'm gonna push through, get one or two more reps after that, and uh, then involve a drop set where I take about 30% of the weight back off and instantly go back into that set and just get as many more reps as I can really stressing that muscle much more than if I was just trying to always lift heavy weights. So if you are training on your own, you don't have a, a spotter or a training partner to assist you and help spot on some of those heavy weights, make use of a rest pause or like what I'm doing, immediately lower the weight down that resistance and jump back on that exercise and try and get five, six, even eight or 10 more reps. Chest is feeling pumped. I'm gonna move on, start to incorporate some flies into this chest workout. chest flies is that it actually works the chest through its natural uh, function and that is it closes the arm in like this just like the uh, the breast on a bird or a chicken it does that with its wings so doing that on a flat bench with dumbbells is probably uh, the greatest exercise to cause the most effect with that particular motion so I've already hit uh, a couple of presses both on the incline and with the machine and uh, Look, I mentioned earlier that I wanted to focus on my upper chest a lot. That doesn't mean every exercise always needs to be on an incline. I'm gonna vary the angle of the bench, the angle and the line of the pull or the push, either with cables or a barbell. There's always something different. I'm never gonna do the same exercise in the same manner over and over. So with the chest flies, uh, pretty basic here. Flat bench, fairly heavy. And you'll see that with my arm, I'm trying to keep quite a fixed angle at my elbow. I'm not bending my elbow or flexing it as I bring that weight up. I wanna keep my arm complex here fixed. So all of that movement is being generated from the pectoral squeezing in up, up at the top. Also, get nice deep uh, as you lower the weight down, as low as you can. Really stretch out that chest. That's why I've got a slight bend in my elbow, otherwise I've got a lot of strain on my bicep. So just enough stretch to open out around the, uh, the origin here. And as I bring that back up, getting a nice deep stretch and, and deep contraction in the chest. My final point here is, you'll notice on the last set, I was only focusing on about two thirds of the motion. And that is the weight all the way down and I'm pulsing it up and I'm not closing the dumbbells all the way up. The reason for that is simply because I want to stress out around this area of my chest and this gets worked the most, the outer uh, region when my arms are sort of at their furthest apart. So a lot of stress on there, not too heavy, but enough to get eight or nine good reps. Then I'm gonna drop that weight down, lower the weight and finish off by closing the arms all the way uh, from top to bottom. Chest is feeling really pumped. I'll tell you what, 
working with Eric a few hours ago, having him work on uh, opening out my muscle fibers and kind of working around all the muscles in my shoulders, I genuinely do feel like I'm able to push more weight. So let's put that to the test, move on, and uh, I'm going to superset now some uh, powder bar dips for the lower chest and also some varying angles on the, uh, the cable fly. <laughs> Great little combo here for chest. Those parallel bar dips, which a lot of people think actually targets their tricep, and it does, but just by tilting forwards at the waist, it's a great exercise to recruit and uh, target more the lower region of the pectorals. That combined with our cable flies, both from a high angle, so this kind of movement down to more of a neutral or shoulder level, and then uh, a decline, upwards lift like that supersetting those back and forth. Rep range, to be honest, I'm not really counting. With the dips, it's until failure. And with the cable flies after the dips, I'm, I'm at about 60% of my normal weight, maybe 12, 13, 14 reps, but it's those final few repetitions where I can really feel every muscle fiber just fight to get the arm to that end position. And that's really what much of this workout is about. It's not about being so focused on the numbers, the weights, the reps. It's about having a general idea of what you want to achieve and then just setting out and smashing through it. So you'll see throughout that sometimes I'm on that ninth or 10th rep, other times I'm pushing 12, 13, 14 upwards and then doing a drop set. And that's simply because if it's feeling good and I wanna run with it, I'm gonna keep pushing. And that doesn't mean lifting heavier and heavier, it means working beyond and upwards of my threshold, and then including some other training or shocking principles, such as you see me uh, do them, the drop sets, the rest pause, and the superset. It's been about a 30 minute chest workout. My chest is really feeling pumped. I've got a lot of blood in there, worked it through a lot of angles. It's feeling nice and just mobile. So I did say this was gonna be a chest and uh, a shoulder workout. So I'm going to do a simple circuit now, seeing as though I've got a lot of blood pulled into my upper region. My shoulders are nicely uh, mobilized and warmed up. So I think I'm going to superset a press movement with a series of lateral raises. 15 minutes left and then uh, we're done and all of that in under one hour. Feel so enamored Hold me tight within your 
That's the workout done. You saw that uh, after a pretty detailed chest workout, I moved on to shoulders, really just as a circuit, two sets, uh, 12, 15 reps each. I'm not focused on the overall weight, it's more just the, the pump that I'm getting in the shoulders, having already worked them within much of that chest workout. So uh, nothing special here, just a seated dumbbell press. Uh, and then I moved straight on and did a circuit with uh, some standing lateral dumbbell raises and then a bent over uh, rear reverse fly or dumbbell fly, if you like. Purpose of this is, like I said, just to work the shoulders as an ancillary muscle, especially after they've already been involved in a lot of the chest workout. But chest was the primary focus of today's workout and I can certainly feel it. Uh, listen, few pointers and tips I'd like to leave you with uh, at the end of this workout. And that's really, the focus should be more on the muscle activation, the involvement of the muscle. Don't worry too much about how much weight you're pushing. That will come, especially if you're just starting out. It would be much more uh, productive for you to work with a lighter weight and really ask yourself, every time you're performing that rep, that full extension, the full range of motion, am I feeling the muscle? Can I contract it? Am I feeling it squeeze? If not, you need to maybe drop that weight back and really find out what the cause is so that you can engage and squeeze that muscle. Otherwise, if you're not fully engaging the muscle, then you're not really uh, fully optimizing that particular work set if you're only thinking about the weight or the reps, if that makes sense. Um, one other thing is the contraction is probably just as important as the amount of weight you're lifting. And if you're unable to maximize that contraction and really squeeze the muscle on each and every repetition, even if you're not holding the actual rep there, just kind of uh, moving the weights in and out, but you're still able to pump and flex that muscle, that I would say is as not, if not more important than the overall weight that you're lifting. So definitely take that into account on uh, every workout you do. Um, speaking of which, this is one of five of my weekly workouts. The actual muscle groups don't change too often, but um, as you'll see, many of the training methods and the principles, drop sets, shocking principles that I incorporate into those workouts do. And uh, you can find all of them on my profile at supplementsworld.com under the training tab. Um, on that note, I'm gonna head back home. It's been a, it's been a long day for me. Uh, I'm gonna wash this out, protein shake in here, another two scoops of protein, and then I'll eat a meal. Uh, about an hour now once I'm home and changed. So uh, until next time, listen guys, keep making progress. Even if it's only a tiny amount of progress each workout, it's still progress. Train hard and train smart. I'll see you guys back here soon. Take care.